welcome to the outside of the leading edge, but we don't get nothing tangled. Got the bottom. One two flat bottom. that up there. top so pulley's always on the bottom so we've got the lower lines now so we're okay so right here on the bottom for the lower lines yeah. Making sure that we don't have a twist here. Mm -hmm. Always just verify the front to back. Okay. okay. We got those on. Good. Through the pulley, and over. then this pulley. over. all the way through this top trimmer. I've seen a lot okay. of them come in here and they say the trimmer slips. Uh huh. But what they're doing, you see the rotation of it? Uh huh. They will do this number and just let it come out mm -hmm. that way. And that's wrong because it'll slip that way. Mm -hmm. You want it to come all the way through. And now it will not slip. I see. We're just going to give us a guesstimate. Okay, we take this line. Okay, this is trim line. And this is the exact measurement. Like an APCO, uh, the trim line stays on the wing all the time. To get our initial trim, we're going to come to this length and hook it into that bottom. The bottom one. steering line. Dave, will you come and hold this, please? Does this take two people normally? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah two. The other end of this trim line is going to hook into this knot where it connects. Oh, it, it does? Yeah. Where it connects right here. Okay, in the knot. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Long way. Keep going. How tight do you get it? I want a four inch bow in the trim line. Oh, what does that mean, a four inch bow? Right when here. you pull down? Yeah, like four fingers. Four fingers? Four tighter. All right, now, stay right there. I want a four inch bow when I pull like 10 pounds. See, I have nothing yet. Tighten it up some more. Two clicks. Good. Oh, so when you're really pulling on it, you need a four inch bow. Yeah. yeah. Put about 10 pounds of pressure. Wow. That's how you set your initial trim. That's interesting. And it's the same way on the PD or on the uh, APCO, mm -hmm. except for the trim line stays attached all the time. here when you got a trim tab. Okay. To know where we started from. And then, I don't want to go all the way to it in case you did want to let it out a little bit. I'm going to give you 
a little bit of slack to put the knot in. Just an inch or so. Okay. A knot right there. This is going to be pretty well on the money, Danny. You okay. You want to fine tune just a tad, but we pretty well get them on the money. Don't ever have to really readjust them again. And a lot of machines we do don't have trim tabs, so that's the reason we pretty well got it down. But where if you pull them 10, 15 pounds and you get that four-inch bow, mm -hmm. you're on the money. Because if a machine don't have trim tabs, then you're doing it two or three times. And untie, move one in and out. But over the years, we pretty well got it down path. don't have stabilizers so that's why they pop right up half the power it takes to do one of those the other one. Okay. Uh, they're all straight, nothing done, nothing broken. The front one straight. And back. I see. Where the AB goes. So you're putting it on the top for the AB. They're all a little bit different design, so you see how we verify that this is mm -hmm. the top. Keep it from flexing in the wind. That's what they put that in there for. But we want to go through Both. all of it. Yeah. You've seen a lot of the guys will put a link linking the two together to keep them from flexing. No, I've never seen that. Main day way. Well, that's why they did the riser that way. It's like a head of gust and the wing will flex. Mm -hmm. And it flex the riser with that. Mm -hmm. That's for to stop that. Okay. okay here's the trim line that's built in. Can't go straight over to that. Stays on. Mm-hmm. It stays on. It's not wrapped around anything. So we're going to bear up out that these are all straight. These are stabilator lines, these little lines. What do you mean? Well, this is what keeps this wing from 
listing, like taking off and across me. Uh-huh. They run from this side to that side. 